Dynamics of Machinery Test Questions Number 1 Dynamics of Machinery Test Questions Number 1 Question 1 Which of the following conditions should be satisfied for static balancing? 1. Dynamic forces acting on the system should be 0. 2. Couple acting on the system due to dynamic force should be 0. 3. Centrifugal forces actugal forces acting on the system should be 0. 4. Couple acting on the system due to centrifugal forces should be 0. A. Condition 1 and Condition 2. B. Condition 1 and Condition 3. C. Condition th 3 and Condition 4. D. All of the above. Answer. Condition 1 and Condition 3. Question 2 Which of the following factors are not responsible for unbalancing in rotating systems? A. Errors. B. Tolerances. C. Shape of the rotor. D. None of the above. Answer. None of the above. Question 3 Determine magnitude of balancing mass required if 250 mm is the radius of rotation. Masses of A, B and C are 300 kg, 250 kg and 100 kg which have radii of rotation as 50 mm, shun as 50 mm, 80 mm and 100 mm respectively. The angles between the consecutive masses are 110 degrees and 270 degrees respectively. A. 45.36 kilograms. B. 47.98 kilograms. C. 40.50 kilograms. D. None of the above. Answer, 47.98 kilograms. Question 4 What are discrete parameter systems? A. Systems which have infinite number of degree of freedom. B. Systems which have finite number of degree of freedom. C. Systems which have no degree of freedom. D. None of the above. Answer, systems which have finite number of degree of freedom. Question 5 In which type of vibrations, amplitude of vibration goes on decreasing every cycle? A. Damped vibrations. B. Undamped vibrations. C. Both A. And B. D. None of the above. None of the above. Answer, damped vibrations. Question 6 Which of the following vibrations are classified according to magnitude of actuating force? A. Torsional vibrations. B. Deterministic vibrations. C. Transverse vibrations. D. All of E. All of the above. Answer, deterministic vibrations. Question 7 What are deterministic vibrations? A. Vibrations caused due to known exciting force. B. Vibrations caused due to unknown exciting force. C. Vibrations which are aperiodic in nature. In nature. D. None of the above. Answer, vibrations caused due to known exciting force. 
Question 8 According to which method, maximum kinetic energy at mean position is equal to maximum potential energy at extreme position? A. Energy method. B. Rayleigh's method. C. Equilibrium method. D. All E. All of the above. Answer, Rayleigh's method. Question 9 Determine natural frequency of a system, which has equivalent spring stiffness of 30,000 N, M and mass of 20 kg. A. 12.32 Hz. B. 4.10 Hz. C. 6.16.16 Hz. D. None of the above. Answer, 6.16 Hz. Question 10 Magnification factor is the ratio of, fill in the blank dash. A. Zero frequency deflection and amplitude of steady state vibrations. B. Amplitude of steady state vibrations and zero frequency deflection. C. C. Amplitude of unsteady state vibrations and zero frequency distribution. D. None of the above. Answer. Amplitude of steady state vibrations and zero frequency deflection. Question 11. Which of the following statements is, are true? 1. Magnification factor is minimum at resonance. 2. The maximum value of amplification factor increases as damping factor decreases. 3. The maximum value of, amplifi value of amplification factor increases as damping factor increases. 4. Magnification factor is maximum at resonance. A. Statement 1 and Statement 2. B. Statements 1, 2 and 3. C. D. Statement 2 and Statement 4. D. All the above statements are true. Answer. Statement 2 and Statement 4. Question 12. A vertical circular disc is supported by a horizontal stepped shaft as shown below. Determine equivalent length of shaft when equivalent diameter is 20 mm. A. 1.559 m. B. 0.559.559 m. C. 0.633 m. D. None of the above. Answer, 0 0.559 meters. Question 13 What is meant by geometric modeling? A. Representation of an object with graphical information. B. Representation of an object with non-graphical information. C. Both A. And B. D. None of the. None of the above. Answer, both A and B. Question 14 Simulation is a process which, fill in the blank dash. A. Involves formation of a prototype. B. Explores behavior of a model by varying input variables. C. Develops geometry of an object. Of an object. D. All of the above. Answer, explores behavior of a model by varying input variables. Question 15 in the diagram shown below, if rotor X and rotor Z rotate in same direction and rotor Y rotates in opposite direction, then specify the type of node vibration. 
A. 3 node vibration. B. 2 node vibration. C. Vibration. C. Single node vibration. D. None of the above. Answer. 2 node vibration. Question 16 Which of the following statements is, are true? A. Torsional vibrations do not occur in a three rotor system, if rotors rotate in same direction. B. Shaft vibrates with maximum frequency when rotors rotate in same direction. Same direction. C. Zero node behavior is observed in rotors rotating in opposite direction. D. All of the above. Answer. Torsional vibrations do not occur in a three rotor system if rotors rotate in same direction. Question 17 Seismometer can be used to measure acceleration of any instrument only if fill in the blank dash. A. Its natural frequency is high. B. It generates output signal which is proportional to relative acceleration of the vibrating object. Of the vibrating object. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer. Both A and B. Question 18 Which type of monitoring system uses stroboscope to measure speed of the machine? A. Portable condition monitoring system. B. Basic condition monitoring system. C. Computer based condition monitoring system. D. D. None of the above. Answer, Basic Condition Monitoring System. Question 19 and graph of transmissibility versus frequency ratio shown below, the shaded region is called as, fill in the blank dash. A. Spring controlled region. B. Damping controlled region. C. Mass controlled re Mass controlled region. D. None of the above. Answer, Mass Controlled Region. Question 20 Which of the following conditions is, are to be satisfied by the seismometer for it to be used as velometer? A. Its natural frequency should be large. B. Its natural frequency should be small. C. Its output signal should be, signal should be proportional to relative acceleration of the vibrating body. D. None of the above. Answer. Its natural frequency should be small. Question 21. Which of the following methods can be used to reduce excitation level at the source? A. Lubrication of joints. B. Balancing inertia forces. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer. Both A and B. Question 22. Which of the following is a type of untuned vibration absorber? A. Howdale damper. B. Torsional vibration absorber. C. Centrifugal pendulum absorber. D. All of the above. Answer. Who ailed the damper? Question 23 Which basic document describes general requirements for measurement and evaluation of machine vibrations using shaft measurements? 
A. ISO 10816-1. B. ISO 7900-7919-1. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. Answer. ISO 7919-1. Question 24 Which among the following is not considered when reference standards are used in the field of mechanical vibration and shock, monitoring and analysis of machines? A. Terminology B. Methods of testing C. Methods of measurement Methods of measurement D. None of the above Answer, none of the above. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.